morning, councillors. Um, welcome to our special council meeting that we called. Um, I know it's a very busy week and it's a busy time for everybody, but we've got some business to attend to today and some compliance things to deal with. So uh, you've got the agenda, it was set up, and you have the hard copy in front of you. So as part of the cost saving measures, we decided to email it and then just provide the hard copy in here that we don't do the delivery. That just costs us extra and uh, the people on the road are at risk. So, councillors, without any further ado, I'm going to ask Councillor Mahema, our in-house Maruti, to please open the meeting with a prayer. Thank you. Um, this is not the new MM. This is not the, just in case you were wondering, it's not even the acting MM. You're just going to help us with the IT system because that's down. And uh, if you're wondering why, um, I'm going to ask, seeing that the MM's not here, that you just give us an explanation what is the problem with our IT system? Please, ma'am. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, the our video conferencing system is down because of licensing. The problem is not with us in-house because we have a contract with the service provider. Uh, they are responsible for license purchasing and other things and maintenance. Unfortunately, uh, they did something and that makes a, a license not to work for now. But they said they are busy with it. I think by next week it will be fine. Thank you. Okay. We, we definitely, administration, we have to look into this issue about this IT licensing and working with a uh, uh, service provider who can't provide services. Um, so whatever the issue is, please sort it out. We can't do this because we are now denying um, ourselves the benefit of having this expensive equipment and, and using it. And when we try to go over to a digital system, we actually want all of this stuff projected on there so that we can follow on the screen and that we can actually have members of the public joining us on virtual meetings. So when it works like this, it's not acceptable. Please get it right. I submit. Um, I'm going to also ask, just under, while we're opening the meeting, I noticed this morning that the director is sitting there, the CFO, um, they're sitting with their laptops on their, on their knees and trying to work there. I think we must look at a way to get a table in there or one of those thin tables or something to make it more comfortable for those administrators there to, to, to be able to work and to write and to do the things. It's not proper that they have to write on their knees. So if we can look into that somehow and make it more comfortable for them, please. Um, then, councillors, under opening of our meeting, welcome in you don't have to do that anymore. We can, we can share responsibility here. Yes. Okay. Um, application for leave of absence. I've got an application from Councillor Sanfontaine who won't be here. I don't have any other apologies that I received. I'm not sure, MM, did you receive any from no. councillors? No? All right. Any apologies from the officials? Uh, we have a committee of the director. Councillor is good in that case. Uh, we'll, we'll move on to item C, which is official announcements by the speaker. Um, quickly to just go back to the, our program of policy review that happened on Monday. Um, the policy review was arranged by the administration. We were invited by councillors to attend. Um, it was poorly attended by councillors. I heard that there was a problem because we didn't have uh, meals provided for us, and although we did take longer than the five hours. The cost containment policy says that meals should be provided for councillors when we do uh, events, programs, meetings, workshop, longer than five hours. So we have to look into this. However, 
seeing as the cost containment measures um, would have, we would have wasted a lot of money on Monday because of the 32 councillors that we have, I think we had an attendance of 10 or 11. So we would have bought a lot of food unnecessarily because councillors didn't attend. So maybe we must look at a new way of doing this, that we order the food and arrange the food according to the attendance on the morning. Because otherwise we would have wasted a lot of food or spent the food um, unnecessarily. So councillors, please, if you can't attend a workshop, just do us the courtesy of sending us an apology and just saying I won't be able to attend, then we know not to cater for you. All right, so because we can't be wasting money, um, I say waste in inverted commas, we can't be spending this money unnecessarily, please. So when we do that, um, please just, just let me know or let the office know or the MM know so that uh, we, can, we can cater properly for you. Um, then I have an apology. I think there was some confusion regarding the strategic budget session that was advertised for today directly after the council. The strategic budget session is meant to be for the MMCs and the administration um, to go through the process so that they have this document ready for us when we all come back here on Friday where we have an opportunity to engage as councillors with the administration regarding the draft budget. So Friday is still going to happen. Um, we, some people call it an open council, other people call it a draft budget workshop strategic session. Call it what, what you may, but it is an opportunity for you as councillors to engage about the, about the budget and also present your ideas about the budget so that we, when we bring this to council on the 21st of uh, this month, that we can, I won't say be in agreement, but that we at least have heard what the plan of the administration is and uh, whether you are satisfied with the way it's presented. That's the important thing. Because this must be presented to you councillors and you must approve it. So um, you're welcome. Please do attend that strategic session for councillors, the open council on Friday. It starts at 9 o'clock. And then the...